Good morning everybody, welcome back to a new vlog. I had every intention of starting this vlog completely makeup free and doing a full start to finish like makeup little chat with you and then I realised I looked like a corpse and it was not the vibe, that is not on brand for me. And the reason I look like a corpse is because I have actually spent the past few days in bed being very very unwell. It's not the Rona before anyone gets very very worried or dramatic about it, just your bog standard regular illness sadly kept taking tests and then I was like no it's just a standard illness great so I've not been in the best place for the past few days well actually that's a lie I have been in the best physical place I have been in my bed but mind spirit and immune system not so much but sadly I can't stay in it any longer so today I have a few errands to run I've got so much to do that I have been neglecting for quite a while now I've got so many packages to open this morning oh the sun's coming out that's nice hmm. I have a lot of far fetch orders to unbox with you which I am literally over the moon about. I'm very excited to tell you that this video contains a paid for integrated partnership with Farfetch. I'm like croaking up saying it. I've done a lot of cool things but this is definitely a career highlight. I am obsessed with Farfetch. I love the brand so much. I'm very excited to be partnering with them on this video. I actually have a code which I will pop on screen now if you want to skip my chat and go straight to shopping. I wouldn't blame you. The code will get you 10% off. So yeah, I have a lot of things to unbox with you which have arrived this week. They are currently taking up valuable real estate in my hallway. And yeah, like I said, have a few errands to run today which means I will be leaving the house which I'm very excited about because it'll be a nice change of scenery from my bed as much as I love it. I binged watched an entire season of Bridgerton yesterday. I was not as into it as season one. I really liked season one. This one was a bit like, oh my God, please just get it together. But yeah, aside from my disappointment at Bridgerton because it just frustrates me when there's the ongoing, like, will they, won't they, will they? Oh God, it's just, it's just boring. Watched Bad Vegan, loved it. Watched Kendall Jenner getting ready for the Vanity Fair <laughs> awards. I've watched a lot of things. It's <laughs> basically all I've done. Oh yeah, I did my hair differently today. I did that little wave that I did once last autumn and then never did again. I have done a little talk through on how to do it in a video last autumn, so I will link it if you want to see. It's actually hair wash day, so I decided to go for something a little bit different because if I hate it, it doesn't matter because I don't then have to look at it for the next three days. Also, as much as I just said the sun came out, it was due to rain today, so if I go out and do my errands and I get rained on, this is the best hairstyle because this is actually what my natural hair would dry like if I like left it to air dry. Oh, I remember what I wanted to say. I wanted to say thank you so much for all of the lovely comments on the last video. I genuinely put that video up. If you haven't watched it, I will link it at the top of the screen somewhere. I genuinely put that video up and was like, okay, I'm going to go hide now. I was like, obviously, I'm well, as I've said several times, that will be the theme of this video. I was like, okay, just gonna, just gonna go get back into bed now and hide because I'm really like nervous to, I was very open and yeah, I was really scared and everyone was so nice and yeah, I just love you all very much. Okay, cute. I have no idea what I'm gonna wear today. Something I keep playing over and over in my head. I'm really not sure. But actually, once I open my Farfetch order, I think <laughs> my problems may be solved a little bit. There's definitely some bits that I am looking, well, all of the bits I'm looking forward to pulling out. I'm gonna use my new favorite blush. This is Rare Beauty. I love all of their blushes of these, like the liquid blushes, but this shade is Encourage, and I just adore it. It's not a shade that I would ever normally look at and be like, Oh yeah, I normally like look at the corals and I'm like, mmm, but let me tell you, it is stunning. I've really slept on these kind of like mauvey tones for a lot of my life, but actually I think they work very nicely with my skin tone. I love this bronzer. This is the best bronzer. You can refill it as well, which is just incredible. I love it so much. That means I can change my shade in it as well if I want to go light, lighter or darker. Okay, powder, then we'll do brows, and then I need to go find my lip product because not in my makeup bag. Also, I'm so excited to run my errands today because I have to go into Brighton and you know what that means. I'm gonna get a joy in the juice. Be right back. Need to sort this. Okay, so I already contoured my lips a little bit before we started chatting. So what I'm gonna do is take Anastasia of Beverly Hills Pure Hollywood, which I've been a fan of for about six years now and just put it all over the inside of my lip like so. And then I take my finger and pat it all in. And it looks a bit weird, right? because for some reason some colours do look a bit weird on my skin. But that's fine because that is what lip liner is for. And I really like the fact that with lip liner you can completely change. I could make this look more pink, I can make it look more brown, all depending on the lip liner that I want to use. So I'm just taking a brown lip liner. What I do is I stay on the inside of my lip. To be honest, at the very corners I'm like well on the inside. I would say like well under my lip line. And then the further we go up the more I come out. And I go straight across here a little bit. 
Sometimes I don't and just smudge it all over a little with my little finger because it's the finger you're most light handed with. And then on the bottom, I overline, whoop, come back. And then stay well on the inside towards the inner corner. Cute. I think so anyway. Okay, let's get unboxing. I'm so excited. If you don't know, I shop on Farfetch a lot. They actually have this reward system, which I don't know if I should be admitting this, but I am like one step off the, not one step, but like I'm well on my way to like the final, like top level tier in the Farfetch reward system. If you know, you know. If you don't know, I'm not gonna reveal myself by giving any more information, but you get a lot of loyalty rewards and perks and stuff like that. They give you like birthday vouchers. There's like a welcome gift. Every time you reach a new tier, there's a new like discount, which I fully take advantage of. And that is literally available for everyone. So that's one of the reasons that I rate Farfetch the most because I don't even know if I can think of a brand off the top of my head that does stuff like that. So yeah, love them for that. I also love the fact that they just have the best stock. So even if it's a pair of trainers that you really want to get your hands on and they are literally sold out everywhere Farfetch will have them that is literally one of my favorite things their whole stadium good section like they just have trainers that you can't get anywhere else there's some new balance that I really want and they are currently on Farfetch and I'm like how many pairs of trainers is too many pairs of trainers so yeah they have really good stock selection like lots of really hard to find items and they work with lots of little boutiques across the world so sometimes your item might come from within the UK a lot of the time mine come from within the UK but then sometimes it might come from like the Netherlands I think one of these these maybe? No, these came from the States. Something in here came from the Netherlands, I recall. I think it was a dress came from the Netherlands. I have some bits in here that came from the UK and these were the US. So they basically utilize stock all over the world in a really cool way, which helps you get your hands on things that are basically impossible to get elsewhere. And I love that. So just as a reminder, my code will be on screen you want to pick anything up everything i'm about to show you you can get 10 percent off of disclosure they gave me a gifting allowance but i have spent a lot of my own money as well as per usual there are some brand restrictions but everything i'm going to show you you can get 10 percent off of also the two really gorgeous dresses the blue and the pink silk ones from my wedding guest dress edit will also be available under the 10 percent off i believe so if you did want to pick those up now's your chance <laughs> So you guys will probably know already that I love wearing my Nike Dunks, the sparkly ones. They're not appropriate for like every outfit though, sadly, which is really annoying because I'm obsessed with them. But I decided to pick up the white and black, which I just think I'm going to get so much wear out of. They're real like statement trainers, but I think I'll get a lot of wear out of them. So yeah, I love these. I just love the shape of them. I like a really chunky trainer. I have quite thin feet. I, that was really hard to say. I have quite thin feet, so I can get away with a chunky trainer and I feel very, very comfortable in them. I know they're not necessarily for everyone, but I personally really enjoy wearing them. And I really like them at the moment with like a straight leg jean or like I have this pair of jeans that almost go into a flare. I'll pop a photo of them here if I can. I'm wearing the Nike Dunks with this outfit actually. I think the sparkly dunks might also still be available on Farfetch if you want them as well, because I get questions on them all the time and they were basically sold out everywhere and Farfetch was the only place to have them. So yeah, super excited about these. I got them in a size 7.5 in a US size, which I think is roughly a size five. It might be a five and a half in UK women's sizing. Next. I actually haven't bought a nice luxury belt in a very long time. If you watched my luxury starter pieces video, which I did a couple of summers ago now, I kind of talked about how I wasn't really into them. And more recently, I have found that there's a lot of my trousers that I have needed to belt because they're a bit too loose. So I have one designer belt, which is, it has a silver buckle. And then I have a larger like gold Holland and Cooper belt. It has a really big gold buckle and it's very big and chunky and doesn't fit into all of my belt loops. And then I have a super old monogram logo one, which is like really, really obviously iconic. But I picked this one up because it's not as, it looks big and chunky when I'm holding it, but it's not as big and chunky as any of my other gold belt buckles or gold belts. Like this is actually a much thinner belt and it's like in this really cute patent croc, which I really like. I have a pair of black trousers which I am so excited to start these with because I've actually needed a really nice belt for the trousers for so long. And yeah, I think I'll get wear out of this for a very long time. And I really like the fact that the strap is much thinner than all of my other belt straps. I think it will make it very, very wearable in my wardrobe. I also think this will work really nicely around a blazer as well, around the waist. Whereas a lot of my other belts, like I said, are much thicker belt strap and it doesn't work. And then I'm really excited about this one. I think I might have to wear this today because I do need to go into town and pick stuff up. So actually it would make sense to have a nice 
big bag. I'm obsessed. I really like this one. I think this will be great for just everyday use, like running errands and stuff. I really like the shape of it and the fact that it's not boxy at all. Like lots of my totes are very square. And I really like the fact that this one, it's like slung under your arm. It's just like not super square, not super chunky and boxy. It's really soft and supple. It's great for like if I'm going shopping and I want to take a lot of stuff. Just really great for travel in general. If I've got like the gym and then I've got something after and I need to take a change of clothes, this is an amazing bag. And obviously if I'm doing something after, it looks really like chic as well. So it can work for like an active wear outfit, but also for like a really nice you know normal dressy outfit i just think it's so cool and it would make a cool like pool bag when you're traveling as well just a really lovely all-rounder hello did you want to say hi hi she's like why are we in bed we've been in bed for days i miss being in bed <laughs> she's been having the time of her life so those are the bits that farfetch very kindly gifted me thank you so much to the farfetch team i honestly this is like a dream come true brand to work with so guys just know that i am like on cloud nine right now i also recently picked this up from farfetch this is the most gorgeous dress it's from self-portrait and i was like this is actually stunning this will work for so many different occasions whether it's i can make it look slightly more casual or i can really dress it up it is absolutely beautiful it's like this lovely off shoulder blue summer dress it's absolutely stunning long sleeve like three quarter length sleeves really like flowy and pretty and romantic it's actually got a tie up back as well you're not gonna be able to see this i will try everything on for you in a sec once i've showed you all of the bits but yeah it's absolutely stunning hope it fits me well i got a size eight and self-portrait i always find their sizing to be amazing like really really bang on so hopefully it will fit me really nicely so my final purchase it actually it's a bit fluffy because it came in my suitcase with me to liverpool we went to liverpool last week so it needs a little bit of a limit it's all my own fault though but can you tell me if i suit a bucket hat because i really chickened out wearing this i'm not sure if it's for me think about it with like a black swimsuit in the summer do we think it will work do we think i suit it do I just look crazy? If you like a bucket hat, can you let me know? If you just hate bucket hats, then this is never gonna be a good look. But if you like bucket hats, can you let me know if it suits me? Thanks. So I will show you all of the try-ons for those pieces now. So this dress has such a lovely fit. Quality is amazing as always with self-portrait. I'm obsessed. I definitely need someone to help me do the backup so I can just get it a little bit tighter, but it is just absolutely gorgeous. I really need to take my sandals out of storage now because I need to pull together a cute little outfit with this one. I absolutely love it. It's so pretty. The length is really good as well for my height, but I actually think if you're taller, I still think it would look really cute. It will also, if you're taller, sit slightly lower. It's got these like cut out bits here and those will sit lower if you have like a longer body, whereas my body isn't particularly long. So the second I go out, something like this will just sit on that part of my body. I think this will work really nicely with a more casual pair of sandals. I have a black pair somewhere that have like this pearl detailing across the bridge of the foot and they're absolutely beautiful. I think they would work really nicely with this. Love the back as well. Just really pretty, really feminine, really flowy and romantic and I just absolutely love it. Okay, so moment of truth. She fits. I always get so worried ordering belts. I don't know why. Something weird about not being able to try them on. But yeah, I will pop the size that I got this in in the info box below because I don't believe it's on the tab. But this size is perfect for me. I would say I can wear it here to here, like on my waist. Also like a little bit higher up. If I wanted to like belt a blazer, for example. But I didn't go for the recommended sizing based on my size because I don't tend to wear belts actually where I think they're like designed to be worn, which is like on your lower part of your hips. Really like it, I think it looks really cute with just a plain black tee and my leather trousers. Really, really cute. But I'm really looking forward to pairing this with my tailored trousers as well. I think it's gonna look really nice. Yeah, I'm just gonna show you what it looks like with the blazer. I'm literally doing this in the viewfinder, so if it looks janky, I take no responsibility for it. So cute, yeah. I really love that. This would be really nice with like skinny jeans on the bottom and then like tucked into a boot on like a colder spring day or even with like a little dress underneath like a little black dress underneath in the summer for like meetings or dinners out this would be so cute i love it yeah really happy with that do the trainers fit they should because i got them in the same size as my other dunks yes oh my god so cute so cute do trainers make anyone else as happy as they make me that i want to know so i still have the tag in but 
the signal i absolutely love these the fit is perfect as per the previous pair of dunks i bought from farfetch i love how statement they are but how like the monochrome just works perfectly into my wardrobe i really like it with this outfit these are my favorite like leather trousers at the moment and i really struggle with having the perfect trainer to pair them with when i wear them fully like straight leg a lot of the times i've been having to roll them up and i just don't think it looks as cute you have to roll them up like my trainers just haven't been right so i've been having to do that whereas dunks i just think look so cool with like a straight leg and yeah i absolutely love that so so happy with them very like hayley bieber vibes which i know not everyone loves here but i personally love very very much i love that i put together a whole outfit for a bag but here we are it's very unbrown for me i actually love this i might wear this today so i'm going for like a really chunky dad sneaker vibe after i spoke to you guys about like the going to the gym and doing something else after earlier i kind of went down that vibe and i think i was right this bag looks really cute with this so i've just got a black blazer on black top black leggings these chunky axle arrogato trainers which i also got from farfetch and then the bag which is huge but i really like it it's going to be perfect for me today because i've got so much to carry it's very cute this is going to make the perfect holiday bag as well. I can already feel it. I need to book holiday now. And then I also have a PR package. I actually think I have a lot of PR packages from when I was away. They're currently in the post office. So I need to go get them tomorrow. My post office is really annoying. It's only open at the most random early hours in the morning. And I'm not leaving the house at those early hours in the morning. But I have a little mirror water press delivery, which I'm very excited about. So if you don't know, Estée Lalonde has her own beauty brand or should i say skincare beauty skincare yeah. it's called mirror water she makes the most amazing looking products and she was like do you want some stuff and i was like of course i want the stuff we have this gorgeous body exfoliator i'm so intrigued oh that smells really good oh really spa like i like that i also have the smooth body oil very much up my street oh that smells so good oh that feels really nice I like that a lot. And then we have a little purchase that I made for myself. Oh yes, and it's in the biodegradable packaging, which is fab because my bin men are on strike. I am the composting queen right now, let me tell you. I saw this color in the Adenola leggings. They've just launched this and they've launched like the blue equivalent of this as well. I had something similar to the blue already, but this is stunning. I have the khaki leggings and I have the pine green and I have to say the pine green are my absolute favorites. I reach for them so often like that or the black i reach for over and over if both of those are in the wash i'll go for the brown if that's in the wash i'll go for the blue i love them so much and i saw this color and i was like yeah that is a me color i actually love a darker color which is something that i didn't really expect most of the time my workout wardrobe has been in like nudes and pinks and stuff but um honestly like this is this is my vibe when I like to work out and I never would have thought that it would be greens if anything I would have thought it would have been like dark rusty colors but actually I love green I love a green I've got the crossback the crossback tops are my favorite personally they do the tanks as well but the crossbacks are my favorite yeah so I picked both of these up in the small I really like the sizing of Adenola I think it's very spot on so yeah this is the dark olive color if anyone is wondering I will link everything in the info box I'm so excited I'll show you what this looks like on tomorrow morning because if I am well enough well with a h i will be going to the gym because I, i'm really miss being in my routine like i was reunited with my diary this morning and i was just like oh i've missed this so much i've missed planning out my day so much so yeah it'd be really good to finally like get back into the swing of things fully today is like my road test to see if i can do it without falling down <laughs> yeah now i need to get going i need to go into brighton run my errands the sun is coming like fully coming out for me ready for me to go out into the world so very excited about that so yeah i'll show you my outfit that i'm gonna wear that i'm not wearing right now because i'm wearing trackies on the bottom and then we'll go okay so this is the outfit that i ended up going with i will wear my new trainers tomorrow because i just love the chunkiness of these trainers with this blazer because this blazer is really oversized so if i was wearing like a slightly more fitted blazer i probably would have worn the other ones but the oversized blazer just works so well with the bag and the bag was basically a non-negotiable because i've got a lot to carry yeah this is the look for the day and i don't have any meetings or anything i'm literally just running errands so this is a really nice comfy one yeah obsessed obsessed with this bag is a great one. Oh, and in terms of jewellery all of my jewellery is from monica vinader and i have a discount code which should still be running for uk 
viewers. Sadly, I don't get a say of whether it's like non-UK. I'm so sorry. I have no influence over that, sadly. <laughs> Not that powerful. But yeah, I have a discount code for Monica Minida. If you want any of the jewelry that I wear, like I have a Susie's favorite page, which I'm actually gonna ask them if we can update to make it really easy for you guys. Lots of the jewelry that I own isn't on there, but you can still get a discount on it if you use the code Susie. I think it's either Susie or Susie B20. We'll put a little thing here. All the codes today, all the codes. And then I've just got my Majuri and local eclectic rings, which will be in the info box as always. Hey my angel. Bye, you'd be good. Look, she is obsessed with this. This is a cat toy. You are a cat masquerading as a dog. Like, look at this. Oh, she's not gonna. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> we found it under the bed the other day. It had been lost for weeks. <laughs> she's taken off all its eyes, its ears, its nose. It's now just a little ball. And you just love it, don't you? She just brings it to me in the evening. It's hilarious. She just drops it on me. Or she'll just like throw it on the floor randomly in front of us. Anyway, I need to go. I just said I need to go, but can we also take a moment for these flowers before they are fully on the outs? These were from Killian for one of their new fragrance launches, which I will show you tomorrow, actually. I've just put a different fragrance on today and I'm not mixing them, trust me. But yeah, these are just stunning. They make me so happy. <laughs> Came into MS for food, ended up buying beach products. Standard. Okay, so popped in to MS on the way home got my dinner, which I am so excited about. <laughs> so I discovered this whilst I was sick. I really hope I got the right ones again this time because the last time I ended up getting the non-vegan one. But basically Ryan's not sure if he's eating with me tonight and I was like, do you know what? I'm gonna get these because I discovered these whilst I was really sick. And backstory, when I lived in Brighton, I used to religiously when I was ill, get a delivery from Itsu and I get their like noodle soup. I can't remember what it was called. It's gone out my brain, but I used to get it every time I was sick and it always made me feel so much better. I think they do it in like a, a pot noodly, like instant kind of form as well. I couldn't find any of that when I was ill and I managed to find this in M&S and I really was craving noodles for some reason and I managed to find this. Oh my God, it's a meal for two. <laughs> Definitely ate a whole one of these when I was there. Yeah, it's a noodles and gyoza. It comes in like a broth type thing. You can see from the photo. Really easy to make. You literally boil some water, put the vegetables and noodles in the packet in, put the gyozas aside, bring it to the boil, simmer for five minutes with the gyozas in, and then it's ready. Amazing. I also got some Cavallo Nero, Cavallo Nero, Nero. I don't even know how you say it, but I really like this. It's very green. And I feel like I need all the help. I've got some pak choy and I've got some broccoli. Why does everything in a minute come with plastic on, by the way? Because everything, everything had plastic on. It was ridiculous. So that's what I got food wise. I also picked up some beauty bits whilst I was in a minute. So I'm gonna show you those in a sec. Very rarely buy beauty bits in m and but the beauty selection is very good. So I've got a new cleanser. I'm about, I've got, I've just got this funny feeling I'm about to run out of Oskia Renaissance Cleansing Gel. And whilst I was doing a bit of a beauty shop, I was like, I like this cleanser. I'm gonna get that just in case my Oskia one runs out. I also got a Firm and Lift eye cream. Thought I'd give it a go. I'm at that stage where I would like to be firmed and lifted. I also got the Ready Steady Glow Tonic from Ren. They used to do their glycolic, was it a mask? Can't even remember my own old beauty recommendations, but I used to use it a lot back in like 2013. And I didn't really like it. I decided to pick this up. It seems to be quite gentle from the marketing. So I'm gonna give it a go because I don't always get on with glycolic, but I would just like to use a toner. I think it would just really help boost my skin, it would help with congestion. I know all the benefits of it basically, it's just normally it tends to like piss my skin off a bit. But fingers crossed, we'll be good. And then they also do Living Proof in MS, which I'm so happy about because I'm not affiliated with MS Beauty in any way, but I love the fact that they do Living Proof in there because it's my favorite dry shampoo. And I actually was like using mine this morning, like this is not going to last much longer and that is bad. So yeah, that's what I picked up whilst I was running my errands. Oh my God, also guys, I found vegan crunchies. Look at these. I'm gonna link these in the info box. I bought like a 12 pack, it was insane. I now have like, 
a whole stash of them here. But this brand is amazing if you like vegan chocolate and they basically do their own equivalent of like Snickers, Mars, Crunchy, and they all are better than the originals. See, she has just come and plonked what used to be a mouse right next to me. Go on. Bye. a lot of extra veggies so my bowl is really really full tonight but this is what it all looks like when it comes together so delicious so i am going to go and inhale this now and i'll see you guys in the morning I don't have a recipe for because I really don't know what I'm doing most of the time when it comes to any anything to do with food don't really have a clue I'm making myself a little smoothie today is a nice at home organizational sort my life out kind of day my life is in such a mess that I don't know how much of it I'm gonna show you because uh, yeah a lot right now like the wardrobe room hasn't been tended to for i can't actually tell you how long and basically it looks insane and today i did have it in the diary to do like winter to spring transitional wardrobe switch over i can't even really get into the wardrobes right now so <laughs> that's why i can but i can't see the floor and it's just a real state in there and i can't film in there i can't film like that so yeah so far this morning i've kind of done the prep work for it so i've put a lot of my coats into storage bags which will then go into my loft that's what happens like every single single season if any of you are new here for those of you who have been around a long time will already know so yeah the coats are starting to go up into the loft and then i'll kind of wait a few weeks until the temperature rises just a little bit more and then i'll start bringing some more like springy cute pieces into the mix is that too much who knows but as of right now like today i woke up this morning it was freezing went to get milk it was absolutely arctic and then i saw my friends that live further like towards like the midlands of the country i saw they had snow cute like flurries of snow what did we get we've got like half frozen rain so i basically got like slushed in the face earlier so i'm holding off on bringing out the spring summer pieces for just a little bit longer because it's too cold for that it's always so tricky though like i don't want to leave it too late and then it's like we've got this like random heat wave because it always happens like early spring in the uk we get like a random heat wave and then none of my clothes are out of storage and like steamed and ready and it's all then just like not not ideal it's just not ideal so i like to be prepared but there's this balance between being like prepared and being too early as i was last year and i was absolutely freezing up until like may time because we had a really cold winter but hopefully come the end of the day there'll be plenty of space in my wardrobe for when the time does come and also just all my clothes will hopefully be tidied away from the past month of just not really doing it Just in case anyone's worried because this is uncharacteristically like healthy for me i just like to reiterate what is in this so we have chocolate oat milk blueberries banana peanut butter and protein powder so not the most healthy smoothie in the world but it tastes incredible Me just can't afford it. Me just can't afford it. 
just come for the Great, we have progress. You can actually see that there is an island in here now and everything in here is looking good. You know, does it look like there's space for a load of summer clothes? No, but that's fine because we're gonna have clear out before I put all my spring clothing in here. Or summer clothing, should I say, because I keep a certain amount of like transitional clothing out at all times it'll basically just be the summer dresses so that i need to get out but yeah we will have a little clear out in a couple of weeks we'll put the summer dresses in it's gonna be great oh i almost forgot to show you i mean i'm sure you've seen it so far in the video but this is what the adenola dark olive set looks like on i absolutely love it it's such a nice color i don't think it washes me out too much it's very comfortable as per all of the other sets i have from them i'm, I'm really really happy with it ready for tonight's hair wash because I did not wash my hair last night you'll probably have noticed I actually got really distracted I was watching a film called The Big Short which weirdly came up in a podcast I've watched it years ago I fell asleep in the first five minutes because I was in my early 20s and understood nothing about mortgages or finance or any of the things that that film entails and never really fully watched it at all i didn't even remember the first five minutes to be honest it came up in a podcast and then was referenced in a book that i'm reading at the moment called quiet almost at the end of it it's a slow read but so so good so i was on my own last night and i decided to give it a watch and absolutely loved it understood a lot more this time than i did the last time i watched it and i just yeah i absolutely loved it and got completely sucked into that so that is why the hair did not get washed last night but it's all good because i actually have quite a busy weekend like a fairly social weekend for me so it's probably best i wash my hair like closer to the weekend so i don't have to you know bother with that over the weekend so actually it didn't work out too badly after all and the organizing today has gone really well i'm very happy like it's in that stage where there's still there's still a mound of cardboard because obviously we're having some issues at the moment with the bins not going anywhere there's a lot of like stuff to sort but my wardrobe room is looking so much better i just have two big bags of coats to put into storage which is fab it's ready to go up in the loft i just need someone's help because I, they're so heavy i can't get them up there on my own and the beauty stuff has gone from my office it's been honestly it's been there since before christmas and it's, it was there's like four four huge bags and i finally found a new home for that so that is great so i'm just feeling like nice and cleansed and organized today basically i sometimes feel like you know when your life gathers too much clutter you can't even like properly clean because there's just too many bits everywhere like i like everything to be fairly minimal at least surface wise so that i can clean really easily and i've been finding it really hard to clean lately because there's too much stuff everywhere so yeah feeling good i feel like i'm like slowly regaining a grip on my life you can always tell by like the office and wardrobe room it's the living spaces i keep fairly trim but you can always tell by the rooms that i don't spend that much time in what kind of state my life and my mind are in so feeling really good after a day of organizing i'm just about to sit down and do some work bits now and i'm honestly just wondering how early is too early to make dinner at this point <laughs> evening everybody it is friday as promised i'm taking you along to dinner with me i've had a good day i've done some good work unfortunately it does mean i'm running slightly late now always tends to be the way but i got way more done today than i actually thought i would which is good so i'm going to show you my outfit and then we will be on our way so this is my outfit of the evening my hands are super shaky because i'm rushing i'm just gonna have to steady that <laughs> we've got monica vinida jewelry on these are the gold disco hoops and then curb chain necklace i think it's called and then i've just got a plain black little zara top my balenciaga belt my zara leather look trousers night like dunks so we've got a lot of bits from my far-fetched order in one outfit and then i'm also going to be taking this bag because i'm staying at ryan's so i've just chucked like a makeup bag and bits like that in there and then i've also got my black blazer which i'll show you that on the look now did that sentence even make any sense who knows so yeah this is what it looks like with the blazer on you've basically seen this look already this week but just with a little bit more jewelry and i'm going to be taking this bag does it go i don't know but i've just thrown it together last minute so 
yeah this is my outfit of the evening am i gonna freeze maybe hello i am with the man hello the man the man the myth the, the legend one, the one and only <laughs> honestly i'm so awkward today it's not even funny <laughs> oh dear so we're on our way to dinner. We are having dinner at Cafe Rust, which is like a little, really small group of chain cafes throughout Brighton and Hove. I don't normally go there. It's normally like an artisanal little cafe, like very rustic, real rustic decor vibes. If you're into that, all of the pampas grass, all of that kind of stuff, you'll absolutely love it. But I don't normally eat there. However, there is a like vegan street food company that I absolutely love called Flux Vegan. They do like some kind of bits for delivery in like and around Brighton and they have a little like street food fair up in Horsham and they're normally there and they do these pop-ups in Cafe Rust. We went to one a few weeks ago, some of you may have seen on my Instagram. I absolutely loved it. It was like California Mexican, which I absolutely love, die for. However, I've really overdone it on the Mexican lately, so I will be probably not partaking in that tonight. However, this menu is slightly different, so they tweak it every time. So there's gonna be different bits on the menu this time and I'm so excited to eat. You're very excited you haven't looked at the menu. I know so what's in store. You're gonna love it. You're gonna absolutely love it. So yeah, that is where we are off to this evening and I'm really looking forward to it. And I wanted to take you along with me because I know if some of you, even if you don't like vegan food, I actually would really suggest this pop up because it's just really, really, really good. Like I actually think I could take my non-vegan friends to this kind of situation and they'd really enjoy the food. And there's very few places that I would say that. But anyway, I know some of you who are vegan really love these recommendations and if you're based around here or even if you're just visiting, definitely give them a follow on Instagram and just see when their pop-ups are because I honestly cannot recommend this enough. It's like the highlight of my week when we have a date night for one of these pop-ups. So good. I'm gonna stop talking now and we're gonna go eat some food. <laughs> oh my god you guys look at this it looks so good. These are the Santa Fe burgers. And then we've got dirty fries, mac and cheese. Are these mac and cheese bites? Yeah. yeah. We both got the same burger as well. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. We've got a rose, we've got vegan mayo. Oh my God, I'm so excited to eat this. <laughs> that's, that's the hungry Hurley nod. If you know, you know. didn't dinner on Friday just looked delicious I swear it was actually better than it looked it was so great I would highly recommend if you are in the area and they are like doing the pop-up I absolutely love it but today is Monday it is upload day so sadly this vlog has to come to an end I thought I would show you my outfit before we end things it's cute it's a little risque this is an outfit that I will probably never wear out the house but I also have the cutest jewelry on I've got a new charm I already owned this necklace from Monica Vinida and they sent me this charm for it and it is so cute if you're a Hailey Bieber fan you'll love this because she actually wears this there are quite a few photos of her wearing this with like this blazer look it's really really gorgeous I love it i really want to recreate that look so yeah i'm wearing some matching chunky monica vinida earrings and then my usual rings but yeah i want to show you the outfit because i think it's cute but i'm interested to get your opinion so this top is from mango believe it or not i absolutely love it but it's a little bit big on me which is one of the reasons that i don't feel very comfortable in wearing this out the house like there's a bit too much movement going on if it was tighter i'd feel a little bit more secure so yeah sadly not going to be wearing this one out of the house but i think it's so cute like real 90s vibes i love it i absolutely love it but in hindsight i would definitely size down for this if you are interested in getting this top definitely size down i really i got a small and i really could have done with an extra small which i think is silly because i you know when you look at something you're like i'm not an extra small like this is this is silly but i absolutely love the top i think it's so so cute and i'm wearing it with my zara i don't know if these are straight leg or like flared i don't know what you call them like boyfriendy style straight leg jeans which i'm obsessed with at the moment i absolutely love them just got my white company slippers on. And now I'm about to change into leggings and a t-shirt because I'm going to have my therapy and shiatsu massage and I cannot wait. So that is gonna be it for me today. I really hope you enjoyed coming along and seeing my week with me, seeing what I bought, all of the use. I hope you have an amazing week and I'll see you guys again on, I think next Monday, I think. Love you, bye.